we started this video here and we went up this way along North Lee Street. There's a little short section of Carter Street, went out Southerfield Road to here and we turned around and we came back and we came down Mayo Street to here where the Chick-fil-A is. Then we came back down and, re and returned to this point. Hello everyone, this is Hubert from the Traveling with Hubert channel. Kathy and I have made several videos of America's Georgia uh, in and around South Lee Street. In this video, Kathy couldn't go with me, but I. Uh, this video is about North Lee Street, uh, Carter Street, uh, Southerfield Road, Mayo Street, these are all places in the northern part of uh, Americas. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you do, we ask that you give us a thumbs up. Uh, that helps our channel. If um, you haven't subscribed to the channel already uh, and are willing to do so, we ask that you subscribe to the channel. If you have subscribed to the channel, uh, we appreciate you very much. We thank you for it. We ask that you share uh, this channel with uh, someone who might like uh, traveling videos. If you have a comment to make, uh, please leave it down in the comment section. And uh, Kathy and I wish that you just have a very, very blessed day. We're about to go north of US 280, which you'll see here in the video is... Uh, East Lamar Street uh, it splits uh, as you're going east it's Lamar Street when you're coming back it's Forsyth Street one-way traffic going east one-way traffic coming back we've been here in other videos uh, the America's Visitor Center is that building right there on the left Citizens Bank. We have railway freight up here on the right. Everything I'm going to be talking about is probably going to be on the left because I'm going to come back this way. A little shopping center here with the Dollar General and Walking Wings. Walking Wings is on. You know, they have comfort food there. Uh, and it, it's good. I've eaten there before. You see Rainey's used car here on the left. It's a very interesting building there on the right. You'll see it when we come back. Unique boutique. Tax service. Custom tire wheels. You saw those buildings there. Uh, transfer station, electrical transfer station on the, on the right. Convenience store. Phoebe, like I said, they're a big uh, health care provider in this area. You see the houses on the left. Staley, this used to be Staley uh, Middle School. And it go, history goes back even further than that. Uh, it's a ninth grade academy, I think. Now, I have to look on the video and see what that sign said. Some pretty interesting houses here. Uh, any of them that are really interesting, I'll try to look up and see uh, when they were built. Some little shotgun houses, some other houses.
first road uh, to the right uh, will take you to US 19. That road there will take you out to uh, Sumter High School uh, Educational Complex. It used to be that. Uh, they have moved uh, the high school out uh, this way. We're not going, well, we're right out this way a little bit, yes. Some really nice houses here on the, on the right. Oh, excuse me, on the left. I think I've been, been saying right all along when it should have been on the left. Tractor uh, dealership, New Holland. A lot of this is agriculturally related. Nice pecan orchard here on the left. And this nice building you see up here on the left is the Georgia Power Building. We used to have a regional office here. You can come pay your power bills here. Uh, that's not possible anymore. More woods. See there it says Cooper Lighting. One of the employers that we have here in the Americas. That was a restaurant. I don't know whether it's still open or not. COVID, COVID put a lot of these places like that out of business. They just haven't come back yet. I'm going to turn around here to this business that says Snyder's Flooring. Hopefully they don't get angry with me for doing that. Uh, Magnolia Packing Company. And the Horn Pecan Company on the, on the left again as we go this way. Buildings for sale. Stanford and Son Automotive Repair. America's Bean Company. Smith's Mini Storage and Automotive Repair up here. Let's 
It's a Snyder Collision Center. It used to be Fripp's. And he sold it. Again, you see the Cooper Lighting uh, sign. Convenience store. The transfer station again. Transformer station. I'm not exactly sure what the exact name is. If you know, please leave it down in the comment section. Some more housing. Sumter County Stockyard. Those that don't know, that's where uh, animals are bought and sold, or sold and bought, whichever way you want to look at it. Some more agricultural buildings. American Heating and Air and M&D Masonry Incorporated. Memorial Garden. It says truck route here. You can ride down here and turn around at the uh, CVS Pharmacy and come back. Normally Kathy would be with me, but uh, she's busy right now and couldn't, couldn't make the trip. But hopefully in, in a, another video she'll be back and well, she sees she sees some things that I don't see. Housing Authority drive-through entrance. Housing Authority, uh, dwellings, homes, apartments. Another residential section. Pink house, I think that's pink, peach, something like that. Some 
place here is a brand new storage facility that they've just recently built. Right across the street, there's a Chick-fil-A. It's built right on the corner of the old Americas or Sumter County Hospital site, which was destroyed in a tornado back in the early 2000s, I believe. And uh, I'll, I'll find the exact date if I can. <clears throat> and then they moved the hospital actually uh, into... Uh, I think the old abandoned uh, Walmart building and other shopping places, they redid that, made it into a hospital. But there it is, that's where the hospital used to be. I saw pictures, I wasn't here when it happened, uh, and, and the whole walls were just blown away. I mean, just, they were gone. And, and the amazing thing about it is that they didn't lose a single person on well, a single death. And uh, it's kind of an amazing thing. We have a fairly new hospital that opened in the early 2000s after you know they rebuilt it on the other side of town. But no fatalities in there. I said it looked like a, a bomb had gone off. But anyway, this is uh, Mayo Street. Some houses. This is a residential area. You know, smaller single family homes. And the other videos that we've made of residential areas, they were historic homes, and some of them were, you know, 3,000, 4,000 square feet. These are probably all less than 2,000. Some more houses, residential areas. Three houses, four houses, five, six houses right across the road from here. This is Southerfield Road. Uh, Southerfield Road, I think, is actually the correct pronunciation. Uh, these are all nice houses, big houses. Okay. There's a little short stretch up here that's going to be Carter Street, I think. Yeah, Carter Street. I think this is Carter Street. I'm not sure it is. As soon as we make this little dog leg here to the left, we're back on North Lee. You can see some more uh, residential uh, houses. This is the old Staley Middle School, Staley School. Uh, now it's the Fresh Start Academy. Something. America Sumter 9th Grade Academy, Head Start Center, 
few more houses. Mortuary. Phoebe Primary Care. Back across the railroad track. Another one of those power substations. Barbershop and uh, this is fast food wings and things, something like that. I couldn't read it. Prince Street. Goodyear store. DeVita. Dialysis. I think the Goodyear store might be closed. American Pawn Shop on the, on the right, and Railway Railway Freight. Their motto is "Don't shop the wrong way, shop the right way." A railway, excuse me. 